What's up everybody, Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can use a track mat key with text in Premiere Pro to create this. Let's get started. So to create this effect, we're gonna to need to work with two assets. I'm gonna be working with a text graphic and a video clip. And essentially what we're doing here by creating this or using this text mat key is we're taking the alpha information from one layer and we're applying that alpha information to the other layer and showing what to display and what to crop out. So let's get started here. The first step, I wanna create my text. So I have the type tool selected. I'll go over here and I'm just gonna type the word travel. And now we're creating the effect of, I want my video to show up where the text is and, and that's all I want, I just want that I don't want to have anything else. I want to have it on a black background here. So for this, I want my text to be pretty large. So I'll go over here. Let's make it pretty significantly big so we'll be able to see some of the video that's in the text here. And we'll put, I'll put my text layer on video track two in my sequence here. Okay, next, let's take our video clip. I have a video clip of a plane flying through the air here, shooting outside of the window. Now we want to take this and drop it under the text layer. So now we have our two assets. And again, I'm gonna be taking the alpha information of my text layer, and I'm gonna be using that to control what I show of my video clip. So now I can apply the effect. I will go to my effects control panel and I already have it pulled up here. It's track mat key, you can type it in to search it here, or you can simply search under video effect keying and you'll find track mat key. Now I'm gonna be applying this effect to my video layer, which is on video track one. I'm applying it to the flying clip. I don't think I played this yet. Let me, let me just show you what the clip is. So let's take a quick look at it. So that looks pretty good right there, but I wanna apply this effect to the text, so. So I've applied the effect to the video layer. Now I will go to my effect controls panel and I see the properties of my track mat key. Now there's a few different things here. I can control, um, you know, I could create a couple of masks here, whatever I wanna do, but let's go to mat. So now to, I need to select which layer I want to use the alpha information from. So I only have one option right now, which is video layer two. But I could, if I had other clips on video track, uh, or video track three or four, I could select those. So now watch what happens as I select video two, which is the text graphic. So now we have our effect here, and it is utilized, again, this is strictly the alpha information. And you can see here, there's a composite using section that says matte alpha. If I wanted to, I could select matte luma. If we're using a black and white clip, I could go and use just the luma information. And I could use that right now since I'm using only white text. But for this, I wanna just use the alpha information. And I could also choose whether I wanna reverse the track mat or not. So if I click this, it's gonna show me everything else outside of the font. But we'll go with this. So now let's have a look. Now it's looking pretty good. Now I can go back over, and one of the cool things about this is I can quickly, well there's a few things I could do here. If I'm doing a title sequence, I could edit together a quick sequence and then nest it and drop it, drop the nest here on my video track one and have a quick cut sequence here. But one thing that I like to do is I like to test out a variety of different clips in the background. So to do this, I do the, I can do this after I have the track mat key applied. And to do this, I can just select another video clip. I have a lightly clip here. I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna drag this over my flying clip and hold the Alt key, which will do a replace. So I'm gonna grab here, and then if I hold Alt, you'll see now I can replace it and watch what happens. Now I can quickly see this, and now I can play this back and see how it looks. And that looks pretty cool. I love using different light leak effects to 
in conjunction with text, you can get some really interesting results. And the reason it's kind of fading in and out here, if we look at just the light leak effect, it's some pretty cool colors here. And we have a lot of um, alpha here as well. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.